kind of graphic or a special placement of a graphic that you can really use to enhance your Restream Studio broadcast. I'm talking about lower third graphics. So what is a lower third or lower third graphic? It's really any kind of graphic, but it's where it's placed that's important. It's in the lower third area of your screen that's highlighted right now. So what's usually placed down in this lower third area? Well, two of these graphics I'm going to show you today are an informational graphic, which can have your name and title or information about that broadcast, as you see now. So it has my name and my title in it. It's just something that I don't have to repeat over and over, but it tells the audience who I am. The second kind of graphic that is good for a lower third graphic is an informational graphic that I call a call to action graphic, which you're looking at right now. This has information in it that you don't want to keep repeating over and over or that someone might not be able to hear well the first time or take notes on it well the first time. So it's information that can be placed in this area that's away from most of the action of the video, but gives your audience important information on how to follow you or something else to do or how to even interact with that video. So let's jump into Canva right now and I'm going to show you how to make both of these lower third graphics. All right, so here we are in Canva. We're going to go to a new presentation. And once this thing loads up, I'm going to make the background dark so I can get some good contrast. Now let me go over here to my Restream folder and I'm going to grab one of my step and repeats and use it as the background here. Let me size this up and then I'm going to crop it down to make it a lower third. And that's a little thin, so let me drag this up some and I can recrop that a little bit. Yeah, I'm liking that. Pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna grab the Restream R here and I'm gonna drag it over and scale it down. I'll tweak this a little bit, get it centered up. All right, inch that just a hair. All right, then I'm gonna grab the Restream logo text and size it down and place it in. All right, now what I need to do now is add my call to action text to finish out this web address. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this in my initial graphic, but it's gonna be kind of the restream web address as text and logo. So I'll type that in real quick, the rest of this. So it's the .io slash join slash bvteaches which is my link so you can sign up for Restream and you get uh, $10 off right now. So it's a good deal. Go ahead and check that out. And let me change the size and the color of this real quick. Kick that up so it's legible. All right, so I'm gonna line this up as if it's all in the same line as it was kind of being typed out kinda, but I'm using the logo and real text. And then finally as a last accent, I'm gonna go over here to my logo folder and I'm going to grab my logo over here and place it over on the far side in the corner. And now we have our call to action bar basically wrapped up. So brand colors, logo, all those things all tweaked up. Good to go. Just export this as a PNG file and we're ready. And we're going to create the other lower third graphic by just making a new slide and then jumping right on in. And we're gonna use similar elements. So we're gonna use a step and repeat from our Restream folder again, but I'm gonna size it down this time just to have enough text in it, right? So I'm gonna enlarge it, but then I'm gonna crop it after I place it for, you know, sizing for text now. So it's a little bit thinner bar scale down. So here's the bottom piece for that other text. Place it on the bottom over here. This is kind of an eyeball thing. Let's, you know, we get it kind of sized up and placed. Then we'll add the text, then might have to tweak it a little more, right? So let's go over here and add some text to it. Oh, you know what? Let me change this color real quick. There we go. Get that kind of gray color. All right. So now let me go here and we're going to add some text to it. Add a heading. Now we're going to add our text. I'm going to do this in all caps. Put my name in. All right. And then we'll probably, let me see. Get it in here first. We're gonna size this up some and make it bold. Let me go ahead and do that real quick now. Now you wanna kinda of get in that 
50 point range when you do names and titles because you want them legible at a small size even if they're on a mobile device right so let me get this all sized up real quick get this bar stretched out it's usually a good idea to make your bar too wide first instead of instead of too shallow but that's okay all right so now let's get this other text in i'm gonna copy my first text paste it and edit it to my new uh, information and I'm going to have this upper and lower case for the video graphics guru. Get that all typed in. And I'm going to size this down because you don't need your title to be the same size as your name. And somewhere in the 30s is fine. And then a contrasting color for the bar. Get that placed up. All right. And it's pretty much as simple as that now. We have our lower third name and title graphic. So that's where it's placed. It's all good to go. And now we can also check out our other lower third graphic which is the call to action bar which I'll show you right here okay so these are the two graphics you just have to export as a PNG with a transparent background so there you have it two very simple graphics that you can use to drastically enhance your video the lower third graphics as we said before you can use one as a name bar information bar like this or you can use the lower third graphic as a call to action graphic to have your audience take some kind of action or do something to support you, which is this version. All right, y'all. So until next time, catch you.